Hello everyone, it's Mike from Downtown Comics and we're here to usher in November of 2024 by going over all the new comics and covers that are releasing this Wednesday, November 6th. And again, it's 2024. So like, share, and subscribe if you like watching these videos. That's appreciated. And downtowncomics.com is the place to go to check out all the new releases, some of which may not be on this table. All right, it's a big week. I got a stack at the end of the independence. Let's start with Marvel this week. All right. Ultimates, number six. And it seems like it's been longer than a month, but Aliens vs. Avengers number two is finally out. Got a brand new X-Men. Brand new X-Factor. And in case you missed it, Uncanny X-Men number three gets a second print. Brand new Kid Venom. And we are almost done with reprinting the whole original Marvel Superhero Secret Wars. We're on number 11 now. And from her first appearance, I guess, in the, the What If cartoon, I, I think it was her first appearance. Here's her first appearance in comics, I believe. So we get a one-shot Kahori reshaper of worlds. X-Force, number five. The Star Wars Battle of Jakku continues to come out weekly, and that's on number four. Uh, regular old Avengers, number 20. Not to say that it's not awesome, it's just regular Avengers. Blood Hunters, number four. Our, our uh, adaptation of the Ahsoka TV show in comics continues with number five. The Spider Society miniseries hits number four. And the Spider-Man Black Suit in Blood is probably done at number four, that book. And then two Venom War tie-ins. So Venom War, Spider-Man. Uh, that's the only cover. And then, yes, this is just regular old Venom War number four. So we got one more issue on this one. All right. And then we'll end Marvel with a Negasonic Teenage Warhead one-shot, which I did not see coming, but there you go. All right, onward to DC. Big week for them. Plastic Man No More. That is on book three. Got a new uh, Batman Scooby-Doo Mysteries. Another book that's coming out almost weekly. Action Comics is on 1074 now. Batgirl is all in. So this is the, I want to say the Cassandra Kane Batgirl, just judging by the costume. So it looks like she is getting her own book again. So there you go. Exciting. And then the big one, Absolute Superman, number one is this week. And if you're asking, Mike, where are all the other covers? Well, I'm here to tell you that they're all gone already from my store, so there you go. Uh, checked online to see what they were. <laughs> Birds of Prey, 15. Regular old Batman. Not to say that's not good, it's just regular old Batman. Again, with uh, plenty of covers. My Adventures of Superman hits number six. Uh, a new one. I don't know if it's a one-shot or a miniseries, but Little Batman. I, <laughs> yeah, I'll have to read it, but there you go. Uh, and then, finally, a new JSA ongoing. So JSA returns to ongoing. And we're going to celebrate that with a bunch of different covers. And our DC Horror Presents Creature Commandos hits number two. And we'll end DC with Poison Ivy, the new one, at number 27. Poison Ivy 27. All right, so that is DC this week. Good week there. All right, let's, so let's hit the independence. Um, I forgot this Marvel book, the uh, All Ages Spider-Man Homeroom, Homeroom Heroes hits number two. We have a Josie and the Pussycat annual one-shot. A new Sweet Paprika book hits number one. A uh, new one from Dark Horse called FML. That's by Kelly Sue DeConnick. So, our Hercules miniseries hits number six. We have three Spawn books this week, so he must be behind. Scorched, Gunslinger, Gunslinger, and King Spawn are all new this week. So, there you go. You get plenty of Spawn. Uh, Something Killing the Children has a very special Origin Zero issue this week. So, that's big if you're a fan of this book. You don't want to miss this. Nothing like a good zero issue. New issue of Saga. 
The Conan the Barbarian Battle of Blackstone, of the Blackstone, hits number three. Ranger Academy, number 12. I Hate Fairyland, and I'll show you the other cover, but not the word right there. Oh, there you go. There's the other, there's the other cover, but not the word that's on the cover, because that'd be bad. Uh, Night Watcher, that miniseries, hits number three. The Crow, number two. A uh, brand new issue of EC's Cruel Universe. And there we go. Uh, Neil Gaiman's Anasi Boys. It's number five. Uh, let's go down here and see that My Little Pony has a classics one-shot, The Odyssey. A new Monster High. Nemesis. It's number four. Brand new one called Hell Heist. So, I don't know. It's cool. DuckTales is back, and it's not Marvel. It's Dynamite, so it's, I don't know who's got what, but they've got DuckTales, and it hits number one. Something new called The Fade from Boom. High Republic Adventures, Saber for Hire. That's number four of that miniseries. Kill All Immortals, number four. And then finally, our stack of independence. So RuneScape, that gets a one-shot. Something new called Living Hell, number one from Dark Horse. Walking Dead, the deluxe edition, hits number 100. So there was various covers for that. Revolution, number two. Patra, number three. Something called The Hour of the Wolf. That's new from Mad Cave. All right, Hyde Street, number one, sold out. So that's a second print. The Moon is Following Us has sold out twice. So that is a third print on that one. And Power Fantasy has done a bunch of selling. So that is a, that's a third printing of number two. And this is a fourth printing of number one. So, so new printings of one and two if you want to catch up. All righty. So yeah, big week for the first week of November. So I hope everyone enjoyed it. And you guys have a great day and I will see you at the stores. Bye-bye.